hopefully there's only one more thing I want to talk about today. Um, do I make mistakes? Yes. Do I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Are my mistakes made on purpose? Always. Yes. Is that really confusing? Yes. Um, for example, the Head and the Heart should have won Best Alternative Album at the Beanox Ammies. And uh, I feel like I really blew it on that one. Um, probably Luke Combs should have won Best Album. And um, yeah, so I do make mistakes. And that's important. But um, I think you should know what type of person I am. So I want to learn about computers. I don't know about computers. Everyone lies to me about computers. I know that because I've got him. He tried to hack me by um, having port forwarding at my router. He he tried to hack me by um, adding HTTP server to his um, to his computer program I downloaded. He tried to hack me uh, this. Uh, so I I know how people try to hack me. So I know not to trust anyone. So how did I learn about computers? I asked everyone the same question. I, I, everyone that knows about computers, I ask them all. It's like, it's like a poll. Who, who know who knows this? And you know what I found out? The answer. And so is my distrust of people a good thing when I'm the president? Yeah, but I also know how to find out who to trust because I have a pretty good education. It's my, my knowledge is extremely diverse. If I'm talking to a computer person, I actually know what they're saying. Like, I actually understand the complexities of the internet, and apparently I don't understand the complexities of the operating system because of hash tables built in to Windows, and so having hashing, and also I wasn't thinking about TCP, but then I'm also thinking about people like not being able to change the data is what I'm really thinking about. But I, I don't think I, I... I feel like I still haven't fully comprehended... Um, my attempt to use blockchain for SCADA and that that's where I was wrong, but a variation on um, Merkle trees would work for a voting system, I think. All right. So, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how I'm, I'm wrong so often and how that encourages me to seek out information from a variety of sources. And the big concern is that a president can get really close with a certain source that has very, very, very strong interest in foreign business, in foreign corporations, because are there more foreign corporations than American corporations? Yes. Are they super powerful and rich? Yes. Do they work with their governments? Yes. Um, so is it pretty tough for an American to digest the problem with England being a burden on our on the American economy. It's pretty tough, um, but it's reality. So when I talk about a problem with sending a, a ton of cash to Ukraine and saying that's a bad business decision done by our Congress, um, do, do I think that giving cash is the same thing as giving weapons? No, because who lives next to a CIA a weapons cache? Or I did. I mean, like what? Like I mean, how, how isn't it where you store all the like Soviet era weapons and stuff like that? So um, I, I have no problem with distributing weapons to as, as aid, but do I want to give you cash as aid unless there's a reason for it? No, no. And, and so I mean, that's that's reality. I'd rather have like if you want if you want my cash, you're gonna have to trade me for it. But like if if you talk to me and you need weapons. Like, am I down to give you weapons? Yeah, that's different. Uh, but all I'm saying is, you know for a fact that I will defend the homeland. You know for a fact that I'm not going to trust my generals. And that's why I'm going to trust my generals. Because I might not trust that general. I want to talk to that general too. And I want to talk to that general. And I want to talk to that general. And I want to talk to that person that is a, is a retired general. And I want to talk to that person with that intelligence agency. And I want to talk to that person. And I don't want them all to know that I'm asking them all the exact same question. Because I just want to see how they react to me asking them that question. Because I want to find out if they're telling me the truth. I mean, it's crazy how a person can... Like, when you're in the spy world, if you trust people, you're freaking nuts. Because nothing is like you, nothing is like it seems. Everything is, is, 
it's hard to explain how you can't trust your eyes. You can't trust the facts because you can make, cause you, cause we're in a world of data and everyone knows the data is what's, what people are going to listen to. And, and if you know that you can make the data tell you anything you want, but what I'll tell you is that what Americans don't understand is the importance of foreign currency. And when I say rich people spending $4,000 on purses or on Maseratis or on Range Rovers or on Ferraris, that that's a problem. It's, it's hard to get that across to people's minds because they're like, well, I don't agree that it's a problem that, that we're doing so much business with the Europeans in the luxury good market because you don't understand that like how, you don't understand how many blenders I can buy with your with your Prada shirt or whatever. I don't know how much Prada shirt co- shirts cost with your with your Chanel purse. The price of your Chanel purse. Do you know how many blenders and and, and, cr- and with with like silicon and, and and certain rare earth metals and in certain things that I can get based on the price of your shirt. You don't understand that, and that's why you don't understand. The amount you can burden my economy by liking that a price tag is so high because do rich people like when things are expensive? Damn, that purse is $4,000. I need to get my girl that purse because if I can get her that purse, she'll love me. All right, dude, do you realize that $4,000 is like is there because they know you want to spend that much money on it? So all I'm saying is, I'm actually like, no matter what you know, you think about me, you know that I am focused on the big economy. You know that I will ask everyone to tell me why, and then I'll find the right answer. Cause am I wrong? Yes. And because I'm wrong so much, I will never trust my own opinion. I'm going to trust my advisor's opinions and I'm going to have a lot of advisors, but I'm going to have certain people. I'm like, all right, that guy is sharp. Which, by the way, is that guy nerdy that was from Capital Group? Everyone who's that into computers is nerdy. Um, but he's he's not, like, wearing suspenders and stuff. Like, no one does. Like, do I consider myself nerdy? Yeah, I shouldn't have called him nerdy. Um, but I think everyone's nerdy. Anyways, so, actually, now that I think about it, my, my, the guy who taught me Java, like, my Java tutor wasn't nerdy at all. This Indian guy, he wasn't even close to nerdy. Anyways, so um, not everyone's nerdy. Maybe I'm not nerdy because I, I look look cool. But all I'm saying is you don't have to question whether or not my interests are the same as the American people's interests because for a very long time, I've been pissing off foreign governments with my commentary on economics. And I've been tricking people into shorting and I've been doing weird, weird stock market stuff without anybody even understanding it because it's it's because it's the it because we're that tricky but what you do know is that i'm making sure our economy survives and in the event of a like china gets mad at us about this virus and they they, they finally decide all right we're actually going to war with them who, who are you going to trust me because i am a war guy my dad's a veteran and I have a very long history of studying the history of war. I've, I've been around military my entire life. Always been next to a military base. Edwards Air Force Base. Camp Bullis. And right now, Air Force Academy is, is, is actually considered a base. But I'm also by... Um, what's, is Peterson in, in San Antonio? I don't know which one's Lackland's here. No, Lackland's in San... Peterson, in, aren't they both in... See, there was a Kelly that changed its name. I don't know. I'm always near... In military bases everywhere. So I've I've been around military my whole life. That might be why some of them don't like me because I can cause, because they don't understand what I'm doing. And it's hard to understand because it's a big, big program. It's complicated, just like TurboTax would be. But is TurboTax actually hard? Who knows? Without a doubt, I could code TurboTax. Everyone, everyone that watched me code Big Brain Security knows I can code TurboTax. What can't I code? By myself, the AI lawyer and the AI doctor. But I'll tell you, I can work on it. And the fact that I understand it 
means that I can actually get the things done that I'm talking about in my campaign. I can actually, like, I can, like, I don't, I don't care if you have a million accountants that work for the government. I can code all their jobs by myself. But I would have to use them. I'd, I'd definitely get their advice. But all I'm saying is, like, I, I, I don't think you understand how much I can do because I understand technology. And I don't think you understand how little someone can do because they don't understand technology because their solution's always legal. And their solution depends on people making human errors, which does the IRS, like, all, like, half their jobs depend on humans making stupid errors when my software would end that. Just saying.